Hello guys, so I'm back with another video. And this is um, something that I created to go on a um, dry erase board. So it's an eight by 10 dry erase board. So I created this image in um, Microsoft Word. So let me show you how I did this. Go to front page. So first thing we're gonna landscape it because we want it to look like a plaque. And what I do is of course I go to Google and find a background. I'm doing this for high school seniors, so I just used um, school colors. And I just pick a background and save the image. And then I go back to Microsoft. And just make this and crop this bottom out. You gotta change the picture so you can move it and make it for a full page. That's why you can make the image the size of the page. Just gonna cover the inside your page. And then you're gonna insert the picture that you wanna put on it. I use the um, school logo to put in the background um. so I choose I use the school logo to go in the background and to transparent you go up here to transparency and you just pick how light it, how light you want it to be in the background. I always go with the second to the last one. So it look like this. So it kind of watermarks the background, watermark it in the background. Okay. Then you want to insert the pictures that you want. I'm gonna just use my nephew pictures. So this is just a an example. If I can find it. Okay, I don't know where he is. So I'ma use these. And you're gonna change the wrap text to through so the picture could come up. And I use two. Two pictures for each plaque. Oh, 
my picture. Okay, I'm gonna do this. There we go. And I like to put a border around mass. So we'll have the edges from the picture. And you can remove the background from this border. You just go to Format Picture. Why well, my box not coming out? We're just going to right click Format Picture. And then a little Format box come on the side. And you're going to click the Paint, Fill, and do No Fill. And it will remove the white background. There you go. And then I add the school name to the top. So we're going to insert word or it. And we're going to add the school name. I'm going to make this page I'm going to make this bigger I think I do it on 90 and then change the font I use monotype, but I think I'm going to use script on this one. I'm going to use the monotype. That's my noisy printer in the background. And then I put senior 2021 at the bottom. And this font size is 115. Then we change the color. So I like to do the two toning color. You could do a solid color if you want to. I just like how the two toning color look. Change this color. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. You know, a solid white line to make it stand out. Let me the line a little thicker. I mean, but you can kind of play with it to um, get the color that you want. And you could change the color of the frame also. If you want to. But I leave mine as white. And that's pretty much it. And then we're going to print the image out. And put it on the dry erase board. So I'm going to print this. Well, I got some printed already. So I'll be back to show y'all how to put it on the dry erase board. Okay, I'm back. Let's put this image on this dry erase board. This is the board. It's a eight by ten dry erase white board. So So what I do is I put the image on the board and then I flip it. I don't want to make sure that every part is covered. I don't want no white to show. directly in the middle. I got my presser set at 380 for 30 seconds. this and then I'm gonna tape the side with a piece of heat transfer tape take it to the back and we're gonna tape each side We're going to put a piece of tape on each corner. I need to uh, invest in a uh, tape dispenser. sure when you print your um, image you mirror it but my printer setting is already automatic it mirrors the image when I print it so I don't have to mirror mine I'm 
can just make sure it is directly in the middle. Oh, that's a little tricky. It's not directly in the middle. directly in the middle and that is tight so it won't move when you put it under the heat press Trying to fix my tape. For some reason, it's not sticking at the top. Okay, so I just don't want that tape free. Okay, then we're gonna put it underneath this heat press. And you do, I do put butcher paper on top of mine too, just in case this tape still not acting right. So I do put a piece of butcher paper on the top. Oh, let me put this up so y'all can see it. Press it for 30 seconds. 380 for 30 seconds. This Betty Boo one is one that I first did, but it's not an 8x10. It's okay. And it smells bad. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's hot. I'm going to take this tape off.
take the tape off and lift up the dry erase board. And this is how it looks, guys. Let me lift the camera up so y'all can see. So 380, 30 seconds. I created the image into Microsoft and printed it on a dry erase board. And this is how it looked once it finished. And there you have your plaque. And you can set it on an easel to um, use it as, as a table stand. Hold on, let me grab for easel. <laughs> this is not the easel that I normally use, but this is how it would look if you will sit it on the easel. And I use a sub paper. And that's the finished results. If you have um, any questions, just leave me a comment below. And make sure you please, please, please subscribe to my page. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos.